So far, the series uh, tied at one. The Mariners have a chance today to win what would be their 10th consecutive home series win. And that's the goal for Scott Service, right? So they have a chance to get that done. They have Castillo, the right guy on the mound. Hopefully they can score a few runs. And the Rock is on the mound. He's going to be the Rock today. Luis Castillo, 6-9 and nine record with a 3.79 ERA. Willie saw his 11-game hitting streak come to a close last night. Hammers that one right side. Good start. And Willie's at first base, chatting it up with Ty France. And a runner on for Jose Miranda. That the stretch and the pitch swung on, popped up. Shallow right field down the line. Going back, Ty France fouled territory. A lot of room on the one track, and he makes the catch. That'll bring up left fielder Trevor Larnick. Larnick batting 250, seven home runs and 25 runs batted in. Castillo pitches. Castro runs, throw to second base, and Willie is safe. So Castro just talking about would he run. He does, and for now his ninth stolen base. Now a base hit scores Castro to left center field fading fading and down a base hit Castro is going to round he will score and Larnick comes up with a first inning RBI single and it's one nothing twins and now Royce he hits this on the ground up the middle deep backhand Polanco on to first base for round number two here is former Mariner Carlos Santana he had a three hit game yesterday of ground ball and J.P. Crawford ranging to his left to get Santana for round number three Larnick that soft little single into center field scores the game's first run and the twins have an early lead Joe Ryan stats he's going to make you earn your way on base fifth fewest walks in baseball right hander Joe Ryan up on the hill to wind up in the pitch to J.P. Crawford swinging a line drive in a center field that's going to drop in a base hit well in front of Byron Buxton. So right away, the Mariners have the tie and run aboard. Here's third baseman Josh Rojas. Julio is due up next. Big swinging miss, and he strikes out Josh Rojas on his 30th birthday. Down goes Rojas on three straight pitches. That was a heater he couldn't catch up with. Here's Julio batting 248, seven home runs, 29 runs batted in. Brown ball up the middle. Austin Martin can't get to it cleanly. And first to third, J.P. Crawford, a headlong slide. Mariners in business, runners on the corners. It's a good situation for the Mariners if it's one out. And his rule to base hit for Julio. And nobody does it better than Cal Raleigh as far as driving in big runs this year for the Mariners. He has 50 RBIs. The 0-2, there goes Julio. And the pitch is low for a ball, and Julio easily steals second base without a throw. That's his 17th this year. The 1-2, he does get him with a high fastball. Two down. Went back to the high fastball. Luke Rayley, the batter. He struck him out. 95 from Ryan. And again, Seattle struggling with runners in scoring position. Catcher Mitch Garber will lead things off. Mitch working behind the plate this afternoon for about the eighth time this season. I hit him at 93. And Garber's really feeling that one. Vasquez calls out a trainer for the Mariners. It's never a good thing when you're hit by a pitch for sure. But when the ball ends up going back out to the field to play, you know, it was solid. Underside of the wrist. You know, I mean, we'll see how he can manage this, right? It's That's very going to be. Yeah, very encouraging that he's able to take first base, but. What will that look and feel like? And let's see if he can throw a base yeah. on his right hand. Not how the Mariners wanted to start the bottom of the second, that's for sure. Here is Polanco. Martin again with a chance. Clean field to second on to first, and Polanco beat the return throw from Castro. So testing out the leg there, and Polanco hustling up the line. The Twins get the lead man, Garver, but for now, Polanco is safe. Tie batting 231, eight home runs and 29 runs batted in. Oh, oh man, 93 runs inside and gets France. Two hit batters, both on 93 mile an hour fastballs. Ryan's shaking his head. He's certainly not trying to do this. Now, for the second straight inning, the Mariners put two men aboard. And the pitch swung on a missed. He struck him out. Boy, and that's what an equalizer the strikeout is. It's the fourth strikeout already for Ryan. Here comes the pitch, and this one popped in the air. Left field. Larnick, sunglasses on, camps underneath it, makes the catch, and the inning is done. So, two hit batters. For Joe Ryan, but he escapes without a bruise, at least on his stat line. Where Luke Rayley leads off against Joe Ryan. This is hit on the button, out to the gap in right center field. It rolls to the base of the fence. Extra base is Luke Rayley as he motors into second base. Yeah, this crowd gets on its feet a little bit for Luis. They give him some noise. All right, so Mitch Garver hit on the wrist, the underside of a wrist by a pitch back in the second inning. He had to leave the game. So just told not to swing. 
you don't see pitchers even bother with hitting bunting anymore. No it's yeah. it's a good way to catch a ball off your finger take a swing and you pull an oblique. Here is Polanco struck him out 93 down in the zone already seven strikeouts for Joe Ryan we're just in the fourth inning. Ty France he hit by a pitch last time up one for eight in this series. Swing and a miss strike three on a breaking ball. As France says goodbye to the fourth inning, says goodbye to his helmet and his bat. It'll be Max Kepler leading off. Kepler flew out to right field his first time up. Up the middle and into right center field, a base hit. So Kepler is on to begin the fifth inning. Here's Austin Martin, right-handed hitter, the pitch to him. There's a one to Martin. That's hit well to left field. Not a chance as it's track, track, track. Not going to be caught. One up off the wall. Kepler waved around third base. He'll score. Martin. In the second base with an RBI double, Twins lead two nothing. Boy, I thought the left fielder there, in this case Dylan Moore, made a good effort at it. Well, the Mariners thinking a bunt is in play. It is laid down by Vasquez, a good one. It's Rojas barehanding and he throws him out. Castro trying to hit the ball hard somewhere, preferably deep in the outfield. Now well, there it is, a little bit higher, a swing and a miss. And there is that number two. Jose Moran had a ten pitch at bat last time he saw Castillo before grounding out. Broken bat liner into left field. There's a base hit. Martin scores. It's three nothing. Another. Great lengthy big league at bat from Jose Miranda and the twins cash in that Martin double. 3 0 Minnesota. Dylan Moore, the left fielder, will lead off for the Seattle Mariners. Here's the pitch of the way, swinging a drive into the gap in left center field. Well hit. Bucks on the run, and he can't get to it. On the track and off the wall, Dylan the turn at second. Heading for third. The throw in is going to be cut off, and Moore goes in as third base, standing up with a leadoff triple. And the Mariners need to cash in right here, right now. That brings the crowd to their feet here at T-Mobile Park. Here's J.P. Crawford with a man at third. Into right field. Kepler is there, and that got on him quickly enough. It holds still a Moore at third base. That line drive out to right. Here's Rojas. He drops down a bunt. Dylan is staying put. Throw to first base is not in time. Well, they came home with the throw, even though Dylan was creeping off the line, but stayed put at third. And hopefully Julio can get into one. Well, he is the tying run at the plate. Chopper back to Ryan. Dylan Moore is coming home. Ryan bobbles. Tag. He's out at home. I'm not so sure. And they want to challenge this. Let's see if Dylan Moore ends up being safe. I don't think he got him. Looks like a clean whiff right there yeah. from that angle at least. After review, call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Seattle retains their challenge. Second and third. Cal Raleigh at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball into right center field. Not going anywhere. Battling the sun. Buxton is there. And he can't see it. It's going to drop in a base hit. Everybody's going to advance. The throw in by Kepler, the right fielder. Buxton lost it in the sun. Rojas to third. He'll stop there. Julio in its second. And Cal Raleigh with a sun single into right center field as Byron Buxton just couldn't see it on the way down. And the Mariners have the bases loaded with one out. Bases are loaded with one out for Luke Rayley. Ground ball. Tackle. No marker. No The run is a run. The Mariners are within one of them. He struck him out at 94. Ninth strikeout for Ryan, and now needs one more to really limit the damage here. Big out right here. That one's popped up. Should do it. In the infield, Castro calling Larnick, and it's going to be Castro making the call. Nice job. Two runs by the Seattle Mariners. Luke Raley has struck out, doubled to right, and got an infield hit. Pitch number 11 to Rayleigh. He fights it off and he drops it into left field for a base hit. What an at bat, Luke Rayleigh. Man, Super that hit. was something. And Victor Robles digs in now. Ground ball to third, a little bobble. Robles is out. Rayleigh is into second base, two down. Cole Sands is on the mound. He's facing Jorge Polanco. Polanco's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Out to right field, blistered back by the wall. The green line, 3 0, and there's the fastball right in the middle of the plate. Solid line drive to hit the fence out there. Stanek is up on the mound in the eighth, all tied up. And the go ahead run is on here in the eighth inning. Larnick's one for three with an RBI single. I'd love to see him step into one and put one in the seats. 
And this one, a rocket to right center field. Going back is Rodriguez. Still going. Rodriguez will turn, and it's gone. Trevor Lardick in the eighth inning. Homers to the right of dead center. His eighth, and the Twins jump back in front. It's 5-3. The Mariners are down to their final out. And it will be Hanniger. And the pitch offered up. And they swung on a bounce back towards the mound. It's over the head of Duran. A charge for Farmer. Barraham play. Throws to first. And he nips Hanniger to end this ball game as the Twins shake hands in Seattle to celebrate a hard-fought 5-3 victory over the Mariners.